So, what's on the inside of this mysterious construction, and how does it even work? Well, stay tuned! Take a Rubik's Cube and move the top face so it's not lined up. Once it's done, you can carefully pull one of the edge pieces up with your fingers. You can even go further and make several other pieces fall off. As you can see, the core holds six center pieces, one for each side. Even though they do rotate, none of them can change their position since they're fixed in place. Which means that in the original cube with standard colors, the red center piece will always be opposite from the orange one, yellow across from white, and the blue piece will be opposite from green. The edge pieces have two colors each. In the cube, there are 12 such pieces, forming a cross on each side. And then there are eight corner pieces. Each of them has three colors. The edges and corners aren't fixed to anything. That's why they can move around the center parts. Pick up one of the pieces you've pulled off and turn it around. You can see some extra material on its inner part. The cube keeps its shape because the edges and corners hold one another in place. Each piece has an internal tab that clings to the center cubes and the surrounding parts. The tabs are shaped in such a way that they fit along a curved track formed by the backs of other pieces. That's how the cube moves if you look at the process from the inside. And now, time for the most exciting part – solving the Rubik's Cube. Ok, thanks Cuby, you can get dressed, looks like the exam's over. Now, first of all, you'll need to learn the Rubik's Cube lingo. It's both simple and logical. Boy, if only the rest of my life were that way. All moves are written down in letters that stand for one 90-degree cube rotation. U – up, D – down, L – left, R – right, F – front, B – back. There's an optional H – hurl and S – smash, just in case you get frustrated. Hey, I'm only kidding. If you see an apostrophe next to the letter, it means the layer should move counterclockwise by 90 degrees. No apostrophe, the layer goes 90 degrees clockwise. A number next to the letter means the number of turns you should make. And here's the main algorithm. For your right hand, it'll be R, U, R apostrophe, U apostrophe. Once again, R, U, R apostrophe, U apostrophe. It's the exact opposite for your left hand. L apostrophe, U apostrophe, L, U. Repeating, that's L apostrophe, U apostrophe, L, U. Now, if you want to nail it on the first attempt, it's a great idea to practice. Sooner or later, you'll be able to do all the moves nearly automatically. It'll help you later on. Oh, and by the way, if you repeat these moves six times, the cube will look exactly like it did at the very beginning. To solve the puzzle, you'll have to go through seven stages. White cross, white corners, the middle layer, the yellow cross, the yellow edges, the yellow corners, the final stage. Here we go! White cross. The task here is to put together a white cross and then align its edges with the right colored center on each side. To begin with, you have to put together a sequence that resembles a daisy. It's quite easy and doesn't need any special algorithms. Then rotate the top layer with the daisy. Your goal is to make the front tile of the top edge piece match the color of the center piece. And rotate this layer 180 degrees. Do the same thing with the remaining whites. And this is how you get a white cross at the bottom. White corners. At this stage, you'll have to put the lower corners of the cube in the right places, and the cube's white side will be solved. Ready? You have to use that RU R apostrophe U apostrophe algorithm for your right hand. Rotate only the top layer of the cube to find a corner that has the same color as the centers of the other sides. Then use the algorithm until the corner is in the right place. Do the same with the other corners. At this stage, you'll have to concentrate on the rest of the middle layer. Your task is to make the edge pieces the same color as the center. In the first case, the layer you'll be working on is to the left on the top of the target position. You must match it with the right color. Here's how you can do it. Turn the upper part to the left. Use the algorithm for the right hand. Rotate the cube left. Use the algorithm for the left hand. 
In the second case, the layer you will be working on is to the right of the top of the target position. Turn the upper part to the right. Use the algorithm for the left hand. Rotate the cube right. Use the algorithm for the right hand. Repeat that with all the sides, and you're done! Now, the yellow cross. For the yellow cross, you are only going to need one algorithm. So, front face clockwise, right face clockwise, upper face clockwise, right face counterclockwise, upper face counterclockwise, and front face counterclockwise. Got that? If it doesn't work out the first time, keep trying until you succeed. Okay, now you're ready for your first algorithm. It consists of seven steps. Number one, build a white cross on the bottom. Number two, solve the white corners. Number three, solve the middle layer. Number four, build a yellow cross. Number five, swap yellow edges in the top layer. Number six, get the yellow corners in the right position. Number seven, solve the final layer corners. Step one, build a white cross on the bottom. Hold the cube with the white face up. In this case, the white face is the one that has a white center. There's no strict algorithm for this step, so try building the white cross following your intuition. First, you should get something looking like a daisy. When you're done with it, align the right colors of the layers with the color of the center and rotate this layer 180 degrees. Do the same thing with the remaining whites. And this is how you get a white cross at the bottom. Step 2. Solve the white corners. The goal of this step is to have three cubes of the same color in the top layer and one cube in the center of the middle layer of the left, right, front and back faces. The white side of the cube will be solved. You'll need to use the main right hand algorithm for this step. Twice. Rotate only the top layer of the cube to find a corner that's the same color as the centers of the other sides. First, the right face goes clockwise, then shift the up face clockwise. The right face goes counterclockwise. Finish the algorithm by rotating the up face counterclockwise. In case the corner is placed correctly in the bottom layer but not oriented correctly, repeat the algorithm until the corner is in the right place. Do the same thing with the rest of the corners. Step 3. Solve the middle layer. At this stage, you'll need to solve the rest of the middle layer so that the outer blocks are the same color as the center. Rotate the cube to move the completed white face to the bottom. No worries, you can't mess it up. Everything will fall back into position if you follow the algorithms. There are two possible scenarios for this layer. If you need the center top piece to move to the second layer left, here's an algorithm for that. Let's go through it. Rotate the up face counterclockwise. The left face goes counterclockwise. Rotate the up face clockwise. Move the left face clockwise. The up face goes clockwise. The front face goes clockwise. The up face goes counterclockwise. And the front face goes counterclockwise. If you need the center top piece to go to the second layer right, use a different algorithm. So for this one, start with rotating the up face clockwise. Then, shift the right face clockwise. The up face goes counterclockwise. Rotate the right face counterclockwise and the up face counterclockwise. The front face goes counterclockwise and the up face goes clockwise. Finish this step with shifting the front face clockwise. Repeat that with all the sides and you're done! Step 4. Build a yellow cross. The goal of this step is the same as with the white cross, but there are more things to think about here. Here's the algorithm for this step. Rotate the front face clockwise. The right face goes clockwise. Now, rotate the up face clockwise and the right face counterclockwise. The up face goes counterclockwise. Finally, rotate the front face counterclockwise. At this point, you might see one of the three different patterns on your cube. Depending on which one it is, you should run the algorithm for this step a certain number of times. 
If you have a single yellow dot on your cube, perform the algorithm three times. If it's an L shape, start with rotating the cube so that the legs of the L shape encase the edge pieces in the top left. Run the algorithm twice. If you have a line, rotate the cube until the line is horizontal. Then, go through the algorithm just once. Step 5. Swap yellow edges in the top layer. Now you need to arrange the edges of the yellow cross so that the second color coincides with the color of that side. Find one edge that's already in place. Rotate the top layer of the cube to align the edge with the corresponding color. It's important that only one edge is matching. Keep it in front of you and use the algorithm until the remaining edges get in the right positions. Let's give it a go. Start by rotating the right face clockwise. Next, turn the up face clockwise and the right face counterclockwise. Now rotate the up face clockwise. The right face goes clockwise as well. Now, the up face goes counterclockwise two times. Turn the right face counterclockwise to finish the algorithm. Step 6. Get the yellow corners in the right position. At this stage, the task is to get the remaining yellow corners where they belong. You only need to move them in place. You're not solving them just yet. Find the corner that's already in place. In this case, it's even rotated correctly. But that's not important. And use this algorithm until the corners are in their places. Okay, let's do it. Turn the up face clockwise. The right face goes clockwise as well. Rotate the up face counterclockwise and the left face counterclockwise. The up face goes clockwise and the right face counterclockwise. Now, turn the up face counterclockwise and the left face clockwise. Keep going until you make it. Step 7. Solve the final layer corners. You're almost done. All you have to do is solve the corners. Rotate the cube so that the yellow side is facing you. You'll work with the upper right corner. Let's solve it corner by corner using this algorithm. Turn the up face clockwise and the right face counterclockwise. Rotate the up face counterclockwise, the right face goes clockwise. Once you're done with one corner, move to the next one by rotating the side that's facing you. Keep using the same algorithm. Rotate the front layer so that all colors of the cube match. Congrats! You now know how to solve a 3x3 Rubik's Cube. If you want to do it faster, get a high-quality cube. Probably a speed one. Learn the basic algorithms by heart and give it as much time and practice as you can. Then, the moves will come automatically. And you'll be able to solve the cube in under 5 seconds, no problem. I'm going to show you the way to solve a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube that works 100% of the time. 1. The right finger trick. It just takes 4 moves and helps us solve most of the cube. Turn the right face of the cube clockwise 90 degrees, upper face clockwise, the right face counterclockwise, and upper face counterclockwise. Easy, right? Let's see how it looks on a real cube. Turn the right face of the cube clockwise, upper face clockwise. Now, right face goes counterclockwise and upper face counterclockwise. Let's do it again. Right clockwise, upper clockwise, right counterclockwise, and upper counterclockwise. Once again, right, upper, right, upper. And the fourth time. I think I mastered it. Number 2. The left finger trick. This is a mirror reflection of the previous algorithm, and it's also done in four moves. The left face goes counterclockwise, upper face counterclockwise, left face clockwise, upper face clockwise. That's the algorithm. Let's see how it works on a real cube. So you turn the left face counterclockwise, upper face counterclockwise left face clockwise, and then upper face clockwise, and once again, left, upper, left, upper, keep going. One more time, left counterclockwise, upper face counterclockwise, left face clockwise, 
upper face clockwise. Number 3. Corner rotation. Just like the previous two algorithms, this one is done in four moves. First, you turn the right face clockwise, and then the front face counterclockwise. Then, right face goes counterclockwise, and finally, the front face turns clockwise. Let's try it. Right, front, right, front. One more time. Right, front, right, front. And again. Clockwise, counterclockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise. And one final move. There you go! Now it's time to solve that cube. What shall we begin with? It takes three stages. One, first we'll solve the bottom layer. Two, then we'll solve the top layer. Three, finally, we'll swap the corners. One, solving the bottom layer. First, let's find the right corner. It's usually marked with a sticker and is white, blue, and red. We'll start with it. Let's see which corner it will be easiest to put next to it. Is it going to be blue and white or red and white? I see it's red and white. Let's put it where it belongs and use the first finger trick on it until it's in the right place with white facing down. Okay, let's do the same with the remaining white corners. Trust me, the more you practice, the easier it gets. One more time. Done! The bottom layer is solved. 2. Solving the top layer. Let's find the corner that matches in two colors with the bottom layer that's already solved and put it in the right place. Once you find the first corner, you have to keep looking for the second one without relocating the first corner. Here, two cases are possible. The two corners can be next to each other or placed diagonally. 1. If two corners are next to each other. Take the cube in your left hand, holding the two matching corners, and do the right finger trick three times. Do you remember how to do it? It's right face clockwise, upper face clockwise, the right face counterclockwise, and upper face counterclockwise. Once again. There you go! One more time. Now turn the entire cube clockwise and do the left finger trick three times. Left face goes counterclockwise, upper face counterclockwise. Left counterclockwise, upper face clockwise. Once again. And the final move. In case you've done it right, all the corners will be in place. 2. If two corners are in a diagonal. In this case, it doesn't matter how you hold the cube but the white side has to face down. Now, let's do the same as for neighboring corners. So it's the R, U, R apostrophe, U apostrophe three times. Turn the cube clockwise and do the L apostrophe, U apostrophe, L, U, B move three times. Now, let's find the corners that are next to each other, and we have the same setting as in the first case. Three, swapping the corners. Now, all you have to do is swap all the corners yellow side up. Grab the cube white side down, and let's keep swapping the corners until the yellow part of the rotating corner is up. Without rotating the cube itself, keep turning the upper side towards the corner that's not in place and keep using the algorithm. It might seem like you're messing it up, but no worries. Once you finish with the last corner yellow side up, it will be all done. Congrats! You've successfully solved a 2x2 Rubik's Cube with just three algorithms. So, did you solve it no problem? Let me know in the comments below. Well, today, I have a special treat for you. You'll learn the fastest possible way to solve a cube. Just like with the Rubik's Cube, it only takes one simple algorithm. Although it looks a lot like a Rubik's Cube, it's actually a type of Pyraminx. By the way, if you want to learn to solve a Pyraminx, let me know in the comments. Because of the peculiar way it rotates, this cube might seem like a really tough puzzle to crack, but it isn't. Sound too good to be true? Alright, I'm gonna prove it to you. Let's start with Scube ABC. 
It consists of the parts of two types. There are eight corners and six centers. And now it's time to master the one and only key algorithm you'll need to solve a skew. Step 1. Rotate the skew with your left hand clockwise. Step 2. Right hand clockwise. And then do the opposite. Step 3. Left hand counterclockwise. Step 4. Right hand counterclockwise. That's it! Now, let's see how it works in real life. Left hand clockwise, right hand clockwise, left hand counterclockwise, right hand counterclockwise. I told you it would be easy. Once again, left and right, and left and right. Before you continue, I recommend that you pause the video and practice till you can do it automatically. Let's try. If you go through the algorithms six times, the skew will return to its original state. We'll solve it in four steps. First, the white face and adjusting corners. Second, the yellow corners. Then, the yellow center. And finally, the other centers. Okay, let's give it a good shuffle and get down to work. Step 1. Solve the white face. Let your intuition guide you at this step. It's really simple, just try it. What's really important here is to match the corners that are next to the white corners. Just like this. It may seem hard at first, so if you need help, here you go. Case 1. If the corner you need to rotate is under your left hand, make one turn with your right hand. It's the most common scenario. Case 2. If the corner you need is down, and the white side is facing you. You can deal with this situation in three steps. First, rotate the cube with your left hand, then make one move with your right hand and move the left side back. Case 3. If the corner you need is on the bottom side of the skew, it's a bit trickier, but you can fix it in 5 moves. First, your right hand moves up. Then, the left hand moves up. After that, you rotate once again with your right hand in the opposite direction. Then the left hand goes down, the right hand goes up. And you're done with the first step. Moving on to step 2. Solve the yellow corners. For starters, let's position the skew white side down and check where the yellow corners are. There are two possible scenarios. If your skew looks like this, you'll just have to use the algorithm you've already mastered. Let's do it together. Hold the skew so that the two yellow corners on your right are facing different directions, and the other two are facing left. Left, right. Left, right. Voila! If your skew looks like this, you have to use the same algorithm, then rotate it 90 degrees, and then apply the same algorithm once again. I promise it's easier done than said. So hold it like this, and one. Two, three, four. Now it's really important that you rotate it exactly 90 degrees. Go through the whole algorithm once again. And one, two, three, four. 
And it's done! The next step is step number 3. Solve the yellow center. So all the corners are solved, now it's time to put together the yellow side. Again, there are two possible scenarios. In case the yellow side is already solved, you can just skip step 3 and move on to step 4. If not, use the algorithm you've practiced. Rotate the skew 180 degrees and then use the algorithm once again. Let's try it. Find the yellow center. Use the algorithm 1, 2, 3, 4, rotate it, and once again, left, right, left, right. Good job! Just one more step to go. Step number 4. Solve the remaining centers. Just like in the previous step, you have to find the right center, apply the algorithm, rotate the skew, and then use the algorithm once again. Let's try with the green side. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now turn it around. And 1, 2, 3, 4. Done! And now the same with the blue side. 1, 2, 3, 4. Turn around. Left, right, left, right. And that's it! The scube has been successfully solved. Congrats!